Hey everybody, got something new to show you. Let's see. Okay, what you're hearing in the background is a little something I was just thrown together to demonstrate some of the products of this guy here at uh, kunst.corrupt.ch, uh, also known as the Togu Audio Line, T-A-L. These are all free VST audio unit plugins for both the Mac and Windows. Um, and they're and they're really awesome. He's got a whole set filters, noise maker, this awesome synthesizer here, uh, dub reverb kind of stuff, LFOs, uh, other kinds of synths, uh, EQ, vocoder, uh, a Roland Juno emulator, all kinds of fantastic stuff. Uh, definitely, definitely worth checking it out. It's free. I mean, how how awesome is free? Kunst.corrupt.ch definitely check that out. Okay, so what I'm going to look at, specifically in following kind of our dubstep and drum and bass kind of line, is uh, the Noisemaker synth here. It's a virtual analog. Uh, I'm also adding and looking at their Bit Crusher here, which doesn't have a heck of a lot of controls in it, but it's amazing in what it does and is important for what we're trying to do here. Um, if you guys don't have the whole... Uh, Ableton Suite, and you don't have the Redux and, and, and some kind of bit uh, crushing kind of stuff. This is also free and adds a very important thing that I'm going to show you in a second. All right, so I'm going to turn that off and just look at the Noisemaker for starters. Pop that guy up here. It's a three oscillator virtual analog synth. Uh, you see oscillator one, oscillator two, and the sub oscillator over here. So it's not really you know, you don't have all the controls over at Oscillator 3, but uh, it's there, and having a nice sub is, is awesome. So here's a little sound I have set up. I'm not going to go totally into the depth on this, but... Nice, simple, really fat, analog-sounding synth here. I really, really like the sound you get out of this a lot. It has all the basic stuff that you'd expect to find in any kind of mini Moog or a Roland emulator or any kind of this, you know, kind of vintage uh, vintage emulators. Really fantastic, and uh, it also has some pretty cool stuff like this envelope editor. It's a super flexible envelope, and you can assign this to anything. So, say we'll assign that to the filter. Pretty great, huh? Speed it up. Pretty cool, huh? Turn that off for now. All right. So I kind of have this really great drum and bass kind of bass sound. And I also have, it also has two LFOs here, it has your regular filter section, your ADSR envelope for your, uh, your amplitude, uh, it's got a bunch of controls here, you can MIDI map all this stuff, it's got chorus on and off, it really fattens up the sound that much more, you've got some built-in bit crushing, but I like the uh, external bit crush over here for, for obvious reasons you'll see in a second. So okay, I have things set up, I have both oscillators going. Uh, pulse width, and that's being modulated. If you've seen my other videos, you know I love modulating the pulse width of a uh, a pulse uh, oscillator. It gives that kind of phasish sound. Let's see. Here. Uh, and I will I'll turn that off for a second. Can't hear too much on this one with the filter turned all the way off, but you'll hear in a second. So let's let's set that back. Pulse width. All right. Now, the LFOs are turned on right now, um, but this one is synced. And unlike a lot of other synths, uh, unless your your DAW is actually running, the LFO isn't running. So you'll hear in a second, I'm going to turn off my other tracks so they don't just all kick in. Um, all right. I start it. 
and my LFO starts going. All nice and synced. It's, it's got this really great display feature down here so you can really see what's going on. So, all this great stuff going on. And, and I've been holding the best for last, the bit crusher. I'm gonna just turn that on and we're gonna get. Yeah. That kind of great distorted yo yo kind of 